Greetings, and welcome to another edition of Seamless Style, powered by Polo Ticks and Polaroids. I'm your host, Mr. Parker. So last episode, we talked about different types of footwear in the world of Ralph Lauren. I purposely neglected to showcase any of my modest boot collection because I wanted to dedicate an entire uh, episode to boots, Ralph Lauren boots, mostly Ralph Lauren boots. Um, I think boot season and sweater season are pretty much synonymous. When you break the sweaters out, you also definitely need to break the boots out. It's that time of year. Um, if you're living in one of those cold weather cities, boots are a must. It's, it's a no brainer. You keep them in your collection. Uh, I am a fan of boots. I don't wear boots as often as I would like to because I'm a diabetic and boots are heavy on the heavy on the feet. But I guess, for lack of a better word, I cheat a lot because, man, I, I just love boots. Um, I like, as far as Ralph Lauren, being a Ralph Lauren guy, I love to actually wear boots and tuck them in, you know, just that extra type of rugged, outdoorsy, lumberjack style look, I'm all for it. Uh, but there are dress boots that you know, you you, you will also uh, have your dress slacks over top and just have a clean, very smart look. So we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, the first pair of, pair of boots I'm gonna show you are the only bear, pair of boots that I'm gonna show you that aren't Ralph Lauren, and it's the boots that I have on my feet. Y'all ready? All right. So, first pair of boots I want to show you is not a Ralph Lauren boot. It's the Bean Boot by LL Bean, obviously. See that? That's authentic. Sperry's, Nautica, all that's cool. If they look good, they feel good, they comfortable, you know how to style them, hey, go for it. Me personally, uh, if it, if since Ralph Lauren was not going to make a, 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 a fashionable duck boot for me, I just broke down and got the LL Beans. I actually got two pair. I got the the low cut shoe, which I should have showcased last week, but I didn't. But I got the low cut shoe, you know, just for a different look. And then I got these beauties. Now, everybody goes with that traditional bean boot, and that's wonderful. But there are probably about 20 different styles of bean boots on LL Bean's website and I was glad that I took the time and perused the website a little bit because I found these and when I found these I put a 13 in my cart and went straight to checkout. The the rubberized portion is brown gum sole of course traditional but this 8 inch leg you can see that it's herringbone it's wool y'all already knew i was hooked when i saw that plus the shearling lining on the inside for warmth comfort if you want to flip your tongue down ta tongue down then then style i'm not i'm going to wear them like i'm actually going to use them um but yeah this this particular bean boot here this had my name written all over it once, the, once I saw this herringbone pattern and, and read in the description that it was wool, I was hooked. So, yeah, and I'm rocking these today with a pair of Slim Fit uh, twill pants. They are cargos. They are joggers in an olive green. I went ahead and threw on my, uh, my tennis sweater, my cricket sweater. Cable knit, blue and red stripe, got the PRLFC, and uh, half a griffin, or I think that's a lion actually this time, but the half a lion coming out. This is by Polo Blue Label. I wanted to throw on with this piece I just picked up off Poshmark a couple days ago. Uh, bubble vest. I don't, you know, I'm not a huge bubble vest, bubble vest guy, but North Carolina weather, like for example, today is 68 degrees. It's, it's ridiculous. 
It's called global warming, people. We're facing the end of days, but that's a whole nother conversation for another time. Uh, blue, red, it's reversible. I never wear the other side because there's no, there's no logos or any details on the other side. And I bought it because of the Great Britain, Great Britain flag and the half a line coming out of the RLFC. So this is rugby. This is blue label. This is rugby, the cap. Put, put them together, throw on my little duck boots, and that's what I'm rocking with today. Now, let's get into some more of my favorite boots out of my collection. Now, this, this first pair I'm going to show you, well, the second pair, obviously. The rest of them are Ralph Lauren, by the way. Uh, these were called the Buford. I did see these on eBay last year with uh, the olive diamond quilt here. So uh, I may grab those whenever I grab that olive vest that I've been looking at for a couple of years. But these are pretty cool. I like how the, the vamp is built like a wallaby. It's, it's probably more so of a hiking boot. Um, but this is, what, this is what made me buy them. The diamond quilt right here, which coordinates well with my diamond quilted vest and my diamond quilted car coat. Um, yeah, that's, this is why I bought them. That's what sent me over the top. Has the leather cowhide strings in it. They're very, they're pretty comfortable. These I've actually uh, been using, using, so they need to be cleaned, but pretty nice pair of boots there. This particular pair, I want to say this was a Father's Day gift several years ago. Um, another hiking boot. Got those old school strings in them like the rope style strings in them in the yellow polo logo there tartan on the inside tartan on the interior is pretty cool um leather lined here brown leather puff lined here uh gum sole nice little pair of hiking boots here then i got another pair of hiking boots these are probably i think i've had these I've had these now for about six years. I don't wear them that much. Um, they're not my favorite pair of boots now at this point in my maturity. However, I still like them. I'd sell them if somebody, you know, wanted to give them a good home. Cause like I said, I don't wear them that much, but nice hiking boot, Gore-Tex, Gore-Tex certified. Got a funky little blue color on the inside. Also trimmed with that same blue, but it's a, it's a, it's a monochrome type of hiking boots. Got several different hues of gray in here, charcoal, gunmetal. Um, it's definitely a hiking boot, and they're polo, blue label. Now, some of my go-to's. I mean, this that's a no-brainer. A Chelsea boot brown leather what more can i say hard bottom so they'll last yeah chelsea boots i ain't i i don't even have to give you any instruction on that chelsea boot is a must have if you don't have a pair of chelsea boots in your collection at least one pair um then i don't know what you're doing with yourself but you gotta have a pair of chelsea boots also got a pair of chuckas here now chucka the term chucka is that's what a score is in the game of polo so uh, I haven't done any research I'm not sure if Ralph Lauren himself came up with the name for these boots chucka boots and it just carried over to other brands or if somebody else came up with it I don't know and I really don't care I just think the name is pretty cool we'll call it a chucka boot but um, this is what a chucker boot looks like. This particular pair is brown, leather. Like I said, I keep my paper in my shoes when I'm not wearing them. Gum sole. Uh, I wear these. I've worn these a lot, but my sole is pretty clean, unlike a pair of wallabies. You know, after two or three wears, the wallaby sole is trash. Um, but yeah, these are pretty sturdy. I wear these a lot. Um, I have been known to tuck a pair of jeans in them but for the most part I wear these like a traditional shoe like a traditional high top 
So there's that pair of brown chuckers. And then I also have its brother. Just in case you didn't know, this paper is to uh, keep moisture. Not only keep moisture out of your shoe, but if shoe, if moisture does get into your shoe somehow, um, having this paper on there consistently will pull it out. All right, so that's why I keep that. Like I told y'all, I keep it exactly how it comes. But this is the brother of that other chucker, and it's the same, same, same. I ordered, I ordered them at the same time, so it's the same shoe. Uh, this is just blue, and it's uh, it's a suede. It's a suede boot. So um, I definitely wear the brown ones more just because brown is a, a earth tone. It's neutral. It's easier for me to pair it with different ensembles. But I actually like these blue ones a little better. Just, I don't know. They just, these are just, these are pretty fucking dope shoes right here. It's pretty fucking dope boots. So. But there's those. And then I also have which I wear, I probably wear these boots more than any of my other boots. And this is the Nickerson. I have these in a snuff here. So it's a wingtip boot. See that? It's a wingtip boot. Hard bottom. So they sturdy. This particular pair of suede is a very smart looking boot. Very smart. I wear these, uh, I can, if I'm casual, I may, I may tuck whatever pants I'm wearing in it, but I can also wear that with a suit. It's a wingtip. It's a very, very smart shoe, very smooth, clean lines. And this is the big brother of that snuff suede Nickerson. This is the Nickerson in a suede leather combination. Same wingtip design. But here, going up here, we have a dark chocolate suede. And then here, and here, we have chocolate leather. These, um, I've had these, I've had these boots and the other pair about three years. Um, outside of this pair maybe needing a, a little shine job, they in great shape. Definitely ain't partnering with these. I hadn't seen these come back, so I know I'm going to keep them. Uh, but this is definitely like a go-to. If I'm like trying to figure out what to wear, I, a lot of times I'll start with the ensemble and just pair a nice pair of shoes with it. Sometimes with this, I'll start with this first and build the ensemble around it. That's how dope those boots are. Two more pair I want to show you, and then we out of here short and sweet today now these last two pair of boots that I want to show you uh, if you're on my Instagram you've seen me wear them over the past couple of months I think I've worn each pair once over the past couple of months um, <clears throat> these boots are an, acquire, in an, are an acquired taste now for those who don't feel like they could pull something like this off then I definitely would suggest not suggesting I definitely, definitely would suggest not investing the type of money that you would need to invest into some boots like these. Um, not to toot my own horn, not to pat myself on the back, but it does take a certain level of confidence to try to wear boots like these, um, unless you're actually wearing them for what they are used for, which I have yet to do. However, it is in my immediate plans. Um, one pair I bought, used off of eBay, and spent a pretty penny. Matter of fact, both pair, no, both pair I got off of eBay, and I spent a pretty penny on both of them, but I also know how much they were when they were in the store, so I got a deal. All right, so first pair comes with a dust bag, of course. They're purple label, so they better come with a dust bag. And that would be these equestrian riding boots. Got a cognac brown leather, almost knee high equestrian riding boots. 
strap up, put your foot in, you strap them up here. There's your slot, your slit there, strap those in, strap them all the way down. 100% leather, hard, of course hard bottom, not a big heel. These are definitely good for riding horses. If you if you ride horses, this is a, definitely a way you can go. I've never ridden a horse, but like I said, it's in my immediate plans to learn. But I bought them for fashion and style. Um, I have a couple of pair of Jodhpur pants. I have worn these with both pair that I own and uh, went out in public and you know, it's, it's whatever. I ain't concerned with what the next person thinks. I, I do things for style. I do things for me. I'm not trying to impress, I'm not in a competition. And uh, compliments are, are more than welcome. They're humbly welcome and they're greatly appreciated. But I wore I wear these for me. So uh, I got this pair. And then more recently, I paid $300 for these. And these are blue label. These actually could be purple label. I'm not sure. I am not sure. I'm not 100% sure. But these uh, do not strap up. They have a strap here. Um, hard bottom again like the other one. Base of it is a cognac just like the other pair. However, the bulk of the leg is a beautiful tartan. And that's of course why I spent what I spent for them and was willing to spend it. Um, I'm almost positive I saw these in a picture. Um, the guy that sold them to me is from Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. So shout out to him. Uh, I'm glad he decided to get rid of them because now they're mine. Uh, no straps, no strings, anything like that. They have straps in here where you can, once you get your foot in there, pull them up. They go on fairly easy. Not, not too much trouble. I don't need no help putting them on or getting them off. But uh, this was an investment for me. This was an investment in style. This was an investment in fashion. Uh, this was an investment in Ralph Lauren for me. And I'll, I'll have these 20 years from now. I promise you that. But uh, yeah, this is, this is, those are my two pair of riding boots. And like I said, it's an acquired taste, but I enjoy wearing them. Uh, this particular pair, I got so much. I got so much of this particular tartan. I have a crew neck sweater. I have a, a suit separate waistcoat. I have, I actually have a tartan suit so I, I can wear the blazer with it. I won't wear the blazer and the pants, but I can wear a blazer with it. And uh, seems like I got something else. And then I got a couple of vintage uh, black watch short sleeve knit polos that I can wear with either one to, to really go equestrian with it. But, um, that is the bulk of my boot collections or the ones that I really like. I have a couple of pair of Rangers. I rarely, if ever, wear them. I actually have a blue pair of Rangers, blue leather. I know a lot of people have the blue, uh, the blue, um, I don't think they're suede. What are they? Uh, anyway, the, the not suede material, but not leather. I know a lot of people have those. I found a, when I first started wearing Ralph Lauren, I found a pair of blue leather Ranger boots on eBay. And I bought them and I probably haven't worn those boots in four or five years. Uh, they in one of these closets somewhere. But I got a couple pair of Rangers. Um, I have a pair of waxy, they're like boat shoe boots. The bottom of it is built like a boat shoe, but it's, it's almost like a high top. They're about they're about this high, about like these. Really comfortable, really cool looking shoe. Um, I had a, a navy pair, but I sold those to a gentleman online because I never wear them. Uh, the waxy pair that I have is like an olive grayish. So I kept those because the, the, the actual color of it is pretty cool and pretty rare, but I don't wear those that much either. Um, again, I'm not supposed to really wear boots because I'm a diabetic, but the ones I showed you, are the ones I'm addicted to, the ones that I wear, and I just take my chances as far as my feet. Hopefully, I don't get my feet cut off or my toes cut off. But um, yeah, that's what I have as far as boots. Okay. 
tell you what. Another thing that's synonymous with sweater season and boot season is suit season. Now, me personally, I love cream-based soups, pause. Cream of broccoli, clam chowder is my favorite. You know, things along those lines. However, this particular soup is the only broth soup I will eat. It's called Italian Wedding. It has sausage in it, uh, spinach, noodle, carrots. Man, this is, this is a hearty soup, I swear. Progresso makes the best one too, that I've tasted. Now, I haven't tasted any mom and pops yet, but if you invite me, I'll come. And you gotta have the crackers, townhouse, salted. Ritz is okay, I'm not a huge Ritz fan, but townhouse and club, best crackers ever. Anywho, that's another episode in the books. So get in the comment section and let's start the argument. What is the most must have pair of boots there are? Is it the Chucka or is it the Chelsea? I know my vote, but I wanna see what you think. What's the most must have pair of boots that you have to have in your closet if you're a man? I don't care if you're a collector of Ralph Lauren or if you're a collector of clothes or not. If you're a man, what pair of boots do you have to have in your closet? The Chucka or the Chelsea? If you say the Timberland, you say Tim's, I'm gonna block you. I'm kidding, but don't do that. Tim's is, look, no, 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 no. No on Tim's. And I'm that guy that had like 20 pair of Tim's at one point, but no. Anyway, hit that like. Hit that subscribe, tell a friend, we here, and remember, artists paint pictures, haters paint narratives. Don't be a hater. Have a good one.